my name is Dog, and welcome to another exciting episode of My Philippine Adventure. I'm Mike, your American Tour Guide, and there's Ina over there. She's your Hi, other American Tour morning. Guide. So, I'm just in there watching um, a farmer farming, farming in the Philippines, good old Brian and Marcel, and they visited that uh, aquaponics farm, and he was thinking about setting up his worm casting bin as uh, aquaponics. Now, I just want to make this one for you, and I want Brian to watch this video, too. Because here's another system. I think it's m much simpler, and it would be a good experiment for him to do before he puts all that work into his aquaponics, or in conjunction with his aquaponics. Now, this, as you can see, and if you've watched my videos, you've seen this unit before, and you've heard me talk about it, but this is for our new viewers and uh, kind of a refresher. So this is a 10 gallon tote and with a lid on it which has 12 holes and each one of the holes fits what we call a net pot. One of these, they fit inside of it and then here is the rock wool and some, uh, this is, happens to be serrano peppers that are started. And this, I forget what these are, <laughs> but in this one here I've got some spinach. There's one spinach in each one of these um, rock wool. So there isn't a little bit of investment. You will have to buy the rock wool, and you will have to get your hands on some of the, where did I put them? Oh. Get your hands on some of these, uh, Net cages, net pots, they're really cheap. You can get them off of Lazada, I'm sure. And the reason this system is so simple, and it doesn't take any electricity, it doesn't take any fish, you do have to add your own nutrients, but the nutrient cost is so small for this 10 gallon system. So in this 10 gallon system, and I'll show you when I do it, all you need is 20 grams of uh, Master Blend, which I'll show you in a bit, which is a um, three-part fertilizer, uh, 10 grams of calcium zicarbonate, calcium, I'll have to look it up, and then the 20, 20, and 10, 10 grams of uh, just basically Epsom salt. So 20 grams, 20 grams, so you only need 50 grams total of these fertilizers, which is very little. It's like, you know, uh, a, 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 Jesus, not even a quarter of a Dixie cup full. And that will last this system until the plants are ready to harvest. And I can grow iceberg lettuce in a system like this, or an iceberg, I've never tried icebergs, so I don't like iceberg, but uh, that butter crunch. Uh, it takes about oh, two weeks or so in the seedling stages until they're big enough and they're rooted and I put them in here and then about another four weeks in this system and they're ready to harvest. And like I said, no electricity, no maintenance, and the way it works is you don't need even an aerator. This is called a crack key system. It's because you let the roots the roots are exposed to the air and the water at the same time. So they get oxygenated and the roots are in the solution. So there's no bubblers, no air stones, no pumps, nothing. It's just fill it and forget it. Super easy, super low maintenance. Um, so let this fill up to 10 gallons. I know that this is 10 gallons because I measured it before. And then I'll show you the next stage. <laughs> do is you just want to get the net pot so it, the bottom of it just touches the water so we got a little bit more to go uh, there you go probably just like that I'd probably turn the water off now so I'm going to test it now It's 
Not quite. You should be able to feel the water with your finger. So. You have a root coming out of the bottom of your of your rock wall. It should go through uh, the bottom of that cage and into the solution, the water with the fertilizer. The rest of the roots that are in the rock wall are exposed to oxygen. This way, they're oxygenated and and they're getting fed at the same time. This way, you don't need, like I said, any uh, additional um, air stones or bubblers. Matter of fact, this master blend here, Master Blend International, I bought this on Amazon. Uh, order more at powergrowsystems.com if this helps you out a lot. And it's a eight, 4 1838 tomato and vegetable formula. And it seems to work good on just about everything that I've been growing. And it tells you right here it's recommended to use Master Blend with calcium nitrate and magne magnesium sulfate, which is just Epsom salt, in the following recipe. Five gallons, they add 12 grams to five gallons of water, 12 grams of the master blend, and six grams of that. So I just rounded that down a little bit. It seems to work good for me. Um, so 10, this is a 10 to 12 grams of this per five gallons. And we know that our unit there is 10 gallons, and then you'll have to adjust accordingly. So there I'm going to double it. So 20 to 24 grams of this. This is the calcium nitrate, greenhouse grade for hydroponics, it's two pounds. I forgot what I paid, I paid for all this, but it really wasn't much, and I've had it forever. It's going to last me a long time. And this is just the Epsom salt, which is the magnesium sulfate. Um, I got this at uh, CVS. You know, it's just Epsom salt, it's pretty common stuff. So, just remember... 12, 10 to 12, 10 to 12, and half of that, 5 to 6, per 5 gallons. So in my case, it's going to be 20, 20, and 10 for my unit there, and then adjust accordingly. If you got the 100-gallon system, uh, it would be times 20. So, And then I just use a scale like this to measure it out, and I'm going to do that right now. I pour some in a cup first and then set this up, level out zero with the cup and then I'm going to add, so what do we need here, 20, all right, that's right. Twenty to twenty-four, so twenty-three, that's good, so I said twenty to twenty-four grams. So this right here is the master blend. And I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to put this master blend back in here. And I'm going to repeat that for the calcium and for the Epsom salt. Oh, I thought this was. Well, just in case, I did add the 20 grams of the calcium. And I'm going to zero this out again. And remember, the Epsom salt is half, so we only put 10 or 11 in here. Okay, there you have it. That's all the nutrients you need to grow 12 lettuce plants or whatever you're growing, spinach. Uh, hydroponics does look, work best for leafy green vegetables like lettuces. But I stored the broccoli in this thing also. So that's all you need. Pour that in the water, add your net pots, and you don't have to do another thing. for 10 gallons. Pour that all in there. Now you do have to take the time to uh, mix that up really good make sure it's all dissolved. And then when that's all dissolved you put your lid back on and transfer, transfer your um, Rock wool seedlings into the net cups, and we'll do that next. You got what you've started here. You know, I forgot completely what these things are. Uh, we'll find out as they grow, though. Put those, push those down nice and tight in the net pots. 
push that down nice and tight. Push that down nice and tight. And then the roots are at the very bottom. You pop this in, I set it right there. And if it's done correctly, the water should just be touching the bottom of the pot. So put that in there. Let's take it back up. And like I said, the easiest way to test it is to put a net empty net pot, cage, whatever you want to call these, in there, stick your finger in there. You should feel a little bit of water. Okay. Put that sucker in there. Put that in there. Put this guy in the center here. And that's it. Um, of course, normally I like this thing completely full. But my spinach is taking its time here to, to start. Now, this is in a garden window. So it gets lots of natural sun. But... I, in the winter time even, this is two other options. I have this I got on Amazon. Which is a grow <clears throat> These two right here. Uh, I forget how much they were. Like 30 bucks, I think. Then this right here I just got at Home Depot. You'll see this. That is just an LED light. And that is, it gives off a spectrum that they will grow with. Um, you can grow you know, indoors with uh, these two lights. But I get like a lot of natural light from the garden window. So if you don't have a garden window, you can use, or you can set these outside in uh, partial shade, like maybe uh, like a shade net or something. What you want to try to avoid is getting a lot of rainwater into the system and overflow it. It'll drown your roots and also so see if you can get some place where you can get some sunlight, not direct sunlight, but it won't be exposed to a lot of heavy rain. So I would say this would be perfect if you're, like I said, this I want Brian to uh, test this out in the Philippines and see how it does. Because this is why I started this whole thing, is to see if I could grow um, troublesome vegetables in the Philippines, like the lettuces, and I know tomatoes are not designed for this exact system but I'll show you another system when I do that it's called a Dutch bucket for bigger plants um, so I think the initial investment was whatever this tub cost I can't say it was much more than ten dollars at Lowe's I bought a hundred of the net pots you'll have to double check these prices I bought these so long ago I think it's like, I don't know, 100 net, net cages were about 12 bucks or, I don't know, there's under $20. Uh, the rock wool, you buy, and where is it? Yeah, the big, the more you buy, the cheaper they are. These are like the one and a half or two inch uh, rock wool squares. I forget what they were, under $20. Uh, the master blend, I think, was like $4, but I've had it forever. It's going to last you a long time. This was probably twenty to thirty dollars, and of course, this is probably six or seven dollars. And you should invest in a po like a simple postal scale. That shouldn't cost you too much either. So I'm guessing for under a hundred dollars, or just around a hundred dollar investment, um, if you have to buy everything, maybe more. Let's say hundred and fifty dollars. Um, but it's for for a long time. I. I you will need to rebuy anything for a long time. And I've grown, I don't know, three full crops out of this unit so far um, with this system. And I can grow, I don't know how many more, but plenty, plenty before I'll have to buy anything else. And the only thing I'll have to buy is the rock wool and the nutrients over the time. So if this is something you'll you know, be interested in trying, um, I was eating butter crunch lettuce and kale in the middle of the winter time. Um, and uh, it's healthy and it's fun and it is fun I, I thoroughly enjoy doing this started off as an experiment but I'm going to keep the experiment running so there you have it that's your uh, how to do the cracky system of hydroponics no electronics no power no pumps no stones just water plants and sunlight or grow lights until next time, stay cool, stay classy, 
And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. If you'd like to help out the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And Ina is around today. She just is doing different stuff. Oh, there she is. Hi. She's uh, spying on me. I'm going to water our plants. Oh, she's going to go outside and water our plants. Ciao, babes. Love you.